Well, it's a medication that a local dog rescue says comes with a stigma, but now supporters are out to change that. The now story Cooper takes an in depth look at how one local rescue is using CBD oil on their rescue animals. Tori. Jessica Marley's Mutts is a nonprofit organization that rescues and helps rehabilitate dogs from Kern County's high kill animal shelters. And tonight, officials and vet techs of the nonprofit are sharing their experience using cannabis oil to treat a variety of symptoms and what the results have been so far in hopes that people can get a better understanding of its benefits. This is Najee. Najee came to us from Saudi Arabia. And before today, Najee was roaming the streets of Riyadh somewhat like this, before being found by locals who couldn't afford to help him without extra assistance, and eventually reached out to the Kern County nonprofit Marley's Mutt's Rescue. So the problems that we had when he first came to us were obviously getting weight on him and, and figuring out how to best treat his paralysis. Um, Never in a million years did we think he would start to support himself on his own weight. With the odds stacked against Najee, Zach Scow of Marley's Mutt says they turned to CBD oil. And even though Scow says he was skeptical in the beginning, he saw significant changes that he believes CBD oil laid the foundation for. A couple of weeks ago, he started to work to support himself on his own legs, which is remarkable. He started to have functionality in his back end again, which is completely unheard of. Scow has over 100 dogs right now in his rescue program. And he says 100% of the dogs on the ranch are currently being treated with King Canine Krill CBD oil for pets. It has had an anti-inflammatory effect. It's had um, it obviously helped with his arthritis and clearly improved functionality and feeling with his paralysis. So we've seen a variety of different benefits, including demeanor. Scow says Naji no longer has separation anxiety, is no longer intimidated by other dogs or people, and Naji is not the only success story he has seen. Um, he's very easy to get along with other dogs, and he doesn't alert bark, bark all day, which is terrific. Before CBD oil, Scow says Gary could not stop barking and seemed stressed out and uncomfortable. And even though Scow says he's not a veterinarian, in his 15 years of experience working with dogs, King K9 CBD oil has shown only helpful side effects in his dogs. And King K9 CBD oil distributor Jeff Ryman says not only is his product sufficiently lab tested, but he has to remind customers that CBD oil compounds are not the same as marijuana sure. THC so, compounds. So in marijuana is THC and CBD. What we sell is a, is a CBD product, no THC, so it's an extracted oil from the hemp plant. Ryman says many people just need to shop the right CBD oils that are lab tested thoroughly and have QR codes like this on the back of the product that when scanned show you all about the test it's gone through. But vet tech of Marley's Mutt's Angela Aiden says it's still important to keep in mind that some CBD oils can still have small levels of THC, which is the psychoactive compound found in marijuana that makes people feel high. You can get CBD products with different ratios, so it could be like two to one, which is like two CBD, one uh, THC. Aiden and Scow monitor the changes of all the dogs on CBD oil by tracking their behavior and physical changes before and after they leave the ranch. They also administer CBD oil to dogs that are healthy because of the calming effects of the lavender oil within it and the krill oil that contains omega-3s that aren't commonly found in a dog's diet. But Scow says he would still give dogs CBD oil with small ratios of THC in it as well because of what he has seen with his own eyes. It, I've used cannabis oil with THC in it for dogs that were suffering from a variety of different conditions. When I needed appetite, these are dogs that were either dying of cancer or had uh, gastrointestinal infections that were preventing them from eating and administering cannabis, administering CBD oil with cannabis helped save their lives. Now, if you are thinking about administering CBD oil to your dog, make sure it is lab tested, that your dog is getting the proper dosage daily, and it never hurts to consult your veterinarian. If you'd like to use the same oil as SCOW for your dog, head to our website, turn to 23.com. For the Now Bakersfield, I'm Tori Cooper, 23ABC. Well, happy